Hey, sorry about that. One of my neighbors stopped by. They wanted, you know, they walked past and they, they were like, hi. And I was like, oh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, people around here are actually pretty nice. Um, they, you know, they're cool with it. Uh, as long as I, you know, not sitting in the same spot for 72 hours. Because, you know, I have to obey the law. I really do care about the law. Um, as far as, you know, obeying it so I don't go to jail. <laughs> Which, again, brings me back to Tom Davis, who seems to be obsessed with being gang-raped in prison by a bunch of black people. Um, I gotta wonder if this is one of Tom's, you know, secret little fetishes, or what the deal is. <laughs> because it's just, you know, the, the, the sad part about it is, um, you know, Tom doesn't see empathy as empathy. He sees it as pity, and that offends his fragile sense of self. It, it offends his fragile little ego. So somebody like me, who has a bunch of empathy, comes across him, tries to be nice. He can't fucking handle it. He wants to fight. He wants war. It's the only thing that gives him meaning. You know, most of the people who become soldiers, you know, they're a little messed up to begin with. And then you get somebody like Tom Davis, who was in the uh, service for years. And uh, it really is tragic. Because I'm looking at it with, uh, with empathy, and all he is seeing is pity. And that, that brings me to another aspect of it. You know, my, my friend Tim sits there and... So, you know, his attitude is, why are you making these people do this to you? You know, if you're just nice to them, they'll stop. Oh, I tried being nice to them. I've been nice to Quirky Fenster for years, and it never he never stopped. And see, that's, that's the sad thing about it, is violent people, um, sadistic people like Tom Davis, and, and just because they're not taking, you know, uh, a hammer to someone's skull, or an, a knife to their throat doesn't make them any more any less violent. Um, it makes them more cunning, because this way you know they can uh, you know stay out of jail. Where you know again, in a place like jail, there's a disproportionate amount of people who are sociopathic and well, sociopathic in nature. I would say um, definitely sadists to a great degree. But they're really good sociopaths, the one who really uh, have a high intelligence and know what they're doing. Know how to obey the law, but still hurt people actually using the law, which is one of the uh, one of the ways that, you know, Tom is trying to use the state to hurt me. That's his, that's his goal, because he knows that physically he can't do anything without break, to me without breaking the law. All he can do is slander me, but if he can get the state to come after me... Because the state doesn't care about justice. The state doesn't care about right or wrong. The state cares about obedience to its civil code. And, I mean, there's there's thousands of people in prison who have done nothing violent. Um, all they've done is break some civil code. Um, there's people in the, who are in prison for the rest of their lives because they got caught with a joint. You know, uh, an ounce of pot or something. I mean, it's it's insane. Um, so basically, you know, and, you know, on the offhand that Tom Davis is who he says he is, a 70-year-old Air Force person, that would mean he's doing what he's doing to me for the express purpose of basically trying to get into the government's good graces. Because what's happened is he's transferred his love of daddy and mommy to the government. Um... If Tom Davis told me about his childhood, it would not surprise me if he said that his uh, father uh, was abusive and judgmental. Um, you know, I mean, I, it's like I'm I'm seeing Tom Davis's life. I'm seeing his life, and I can see it from now at seventy all the way back to, you know, when he was a child, and because I've studied psychology and sociology, and I I can see his painful childhood, I can see, you know, every time his father 
you know, told him he was a fuck up. I can see every time his mother just, you know, stood there and watched. You know, I'm sure they'll say that I'm projecting or whatever. Um, I, I've, I've made no uh, dismissals in regards to my own uh, upbringing. But what's fascinating is that I, for some reason, possess a certain level of self-knowledge and awareness to say, yeah, that's fucked up. Whereas somebody like Tom Davis is, oh, this is normal, this is the way it's supposed to be. Um, yeah. And I mean, I, I can see, I, I, I can see, with Tom Davis, I can see every girlfriend, girl that ever, ever dumped him, rejected him. I can see uh, every, uh, you know, every uh, pilot training exercise where somebody got behind him and targeted his fuselage and uh you know i i can see i mean i can see all this damage that was done to him and it it, it i feel bad i feel bad i genuinely feel bad for the guy but at the same time you know i have to protect myself because you know i can see a wolf in a trap right and I can, you know, like you see those bear traps or whatever, and you just, sometimes you'll see like a wolf or a dog caught in it, right? Or a raccoon even. And the thing is just like, it's in a rage and it's, it's, it's in so much pain and terror that it's just lashing out at everything. Um, you feel bad because you're like, oh, I want to rescue it so bad. But you know that if you get near it, um, it's going to attack you because it's... You know, it's in a, such a state of, of rage and hate and fear and pain. And I really feel like that's Tom Davis' issue. He's in such... Uh, he's in such a, uh, a state of, of agony. Of existential agony. You know, he's looking back at his life at 70 years old. Let's face it, he doesn't have much time left. He could drop dead tomorrow for all we know. You know. Um, you know, death may be his only respite. You know, because he's, you know, it, it's doubtful he'll change. He's, he's shown no signs of changing. Instead, he wants to do, he wants to sacrifice someone else's life so that his government will love him. And the reality of it is, you know, governments do not love people. They can, they're not capable of love. Um, you know, clearly, uh, Tom Davis's parents or whoever abused him as a child is most likely long dead by now. Um, so he can't confront them about their behavior towards him. So he can't heal. He literally cannot heal. I, it's, it's too painful for him. And so he goes after me. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's just, it's a, it's a very sad situation for him. Um, but, you know, he's, he's addicted to his own bad behavior. He's taking part in it to a great degree and he's not going to change. He doesn't want to change. Um, he, he wants to sacrifice me in hopes that the government will somehow pat him on the head and say, good boy, good boy. Um, because in reality, I mean, the, let's look at what the government is. The government is violence. And the government will tell other people, go kill for me. Um, and will give you goodies in the form of a paycheck. But then if these same people who kill for a paycheck um, violate this, the government's uh, uh, civil code of the government, some civil code, doesn't matter which one, um, the government will uh, kill them as well or send people to kill them, too. So, you know, the government is pretty fucking murderous. Um, and Tom is, you know, still seeking his daddy's approval uh, for whatever reason. He's, he's seeking approval in the form of hurting others. He wants to hold me up as a sacrifice to the state and say, you know, uh, see what I've done for you. I have, I've helped you. And he wants the state to say, oh, good boy, and shower him with uh, hugs and kisses, uh, just like, uh, you know, when he was a little four or five-year-old boy, he wanted his daddy to do with him. And it's it's really, really sad. 
Um, I do feel bad for you, Tom, but, you know, I'm not going to sit there and justify uh, your bad behavior. If you actually do want to meet for coffee and have a, a real philosophical uh, conversation, feel free. Feel free to contact me. Um, if not, then, you know, continue to do what you're doing and I will uh, uh, respond as needed. Have a day.